Hi. So what's the point? Well, the point is for me, is hope. That is the most amazing thing for me. It's the fact that I have hope. Well, I never had hope before. See, I remember before I was a Christian, there wasn't much hope in my life at all. There was a real dark sense of hopelessness. But when I became a Christian, when I discovered Jesus, when I found out if I could actually have a relationship with him, well, that was the first thing, I guess, that was restored for me. Something that was, was lost was restored to me. And it was a, a deeper sense of joy. You know, you do feel this amazing joy when you first discover Jesus. You feel like all these, these doors have been unlocked. So you suddenly have these keys to mysteries. But the thing that was just implied, just came onto me so strongly was this wonderful sense of hope. And as I, I grew as a Christian, I realised that you know, there's, there's two fundamental things in this, the Christian life. Is you have hope in your life. You have, when you become a Christian, you have new life in Christ. You discover you have meaning. And then you have life in abundance. <laughs> Which is quite funny. Because at one point, I thought, I must have misread this. Because I thought it had said, life in a barn dance. So I did actually go to several barn dances until I was actually corrected. But the damage was done. I went to too many barn dances. Well, that's another story. So, so, life, so I had hope in life. But also, weirdly, I had hope in death. I knew where I was going. I know right now that fundamentally, I would, yeah, I would know where I'm going if I popped my clogs right now. It's amazing. It says in 1 Corinthians 15, 55, death is swallowed up in victory. Oh, death, where is your victory? Oh, death, where is your sting? That is an amazing thing to have. So we, we have hope in life, but we also have this incredible hope for when we pass. So even in this, these dark times that we're living at the moment, where there is so much division, where COVID is, is rampaging around and there's, there's seems to be arguments everywhere, left, right and centre. We have hope. We have this incredible hope. And for me, that's, that is the point. That is the point for me. I have this incredible hope in Jesus Christ. I take these words... Um, for me, you know, God is good all the time. You know, it's something that we say, but it is for me. It is, it is it's really in my in my heart and in my mind, and it's almost like a breath prayer for me. But I keep saying over and over and over and over again, and I feel myself being regenerated, a sense of calmness. But my spirit being calmed. And again, it's just this, this wonderful sense of hope that, that God gives me. And there's plenty of things that I hope for now. Yeah, you know, I'd love to have a 1960s Batmobile. Everyone in my home group knows that. Because I pray for it. <laughs> so that would be incredible. Maybe I'll get that in the new the new earth or in heaven. I don't know. Um, perhaps there's a reason God doesn't want me to have a 1960s Batmobile. But I keep praying for all my these things that I, that I have hope for. I have hope for my children, hope for my wife, hope for the church, hope for myself. So that's what it is for me. That's what it's all about. That's what the point is. For me, it's hope. Cheers. Kirk out. <laughs>